a full and complex aroma. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today I have a specialty here on my cask. It's a miniature. Five centiliters, five hundredth of a liter uh, of Glendronach Pedro Jimenez finished 20 year old single malt whiskey. Well, this miniature won't be available <laughs> outside Europe. Um, it's a limited amount of, of small bottles, but I taste it here also in English language to show you uh, where Glendronach comes from and goes to uh, with a finished whiskey. If you look at the typical Glendronach range, and I tasted quite a lot of them already, um, you have hefty sherry cask maturation at the 15 and 18 and 21 year old whiskies uh, and as well the 24 year old grandeur um, and this one is just finished well it's uncolored as always and it's not too light it's uh, dark amber first mahogany tones in it so it shows that this finishing period wasn't too short and the cask was fresh um, yeah and Glendonach stressed or had stressed their warehouses a lot over the past years because they had to ramp up their availability in the community after they bought the distillery from Allied, Allied Domecq, I think, yes. Um, and they were bought by Perno Ricar and then uh, the intra-trading from South Africa uh, which is now the mother company of uh, Ben Riach Glendronach Distillery Company, blah. Uh, yeah. Um, so they took over, I think it was in 2008, and uh, oh, a little bit more early, I think, 2005, 2003. No, I have no idea. Sorry, I haven't looked it up. Um, but they did not have the chance to. To mature longer than 14 years now. So production started in 2000 just with a small amount. 2001 they started to increase production and after the uh, takeover production uh, sort and uh, now there's more whiskey maturing in the warehouses but uh, this is old. This is from 1995, the year uh, Glendronach was mothballed, I think, for yes, for those five five years. Um, yeah, and this finishing shows how the distillery character of Glendronach really is, which you quite seldom find in an official bottle of Glendronach. Most of this Glendronach. Uh, has this hefty cask influence. And I'm sorry, a fly is sitting here on my knee. <clears throat> Do flies have receptors for single malt whiskey aromas? Or do, you, do they smell my sweating here in front of the camera? No idea. <sighs> A full and complex aroma. And dark fruits appearing. Dates, figs. And this one is only 43% ABV. And there are cloves and nutmegs. And in the back there is some hidden fruitiness together with a slight spiciness and sharpness. Yeah. Probably some some oranges. Bitter oranges. A wonderful complex old 
settled, matured aroma. Yeah. Mm. Mouth watering. Mm. Sherry, plums, a syrup note, a little sweetness, and this sharp note. Ginger, probably, white pepper, and a full aromatic, long aftertaste. Pedro Jimenez is a sherry which is, well, where the fermentation is stopped quite early in the fermentation process so that the ABV in the wine isn't too high. And afterwards, uh, alcohol is added to bring the ABV up to 19-20% uh, so that there is a residue of sweetness from the grapes in the Pedro Jimenez sherry. On the other hand, the typical Oloroso sherry, this is fermented up to the end to 15, 14, 50% ABV and there you keep the fruitiness, but there's not so much of sweetness from the grapes. All the sweetness was converted into sugar at Oloroso and the Pedro Jimenez, they also are a little bit darker in the casks than the Oloroso. Wonderful fall, full land, sherry, and this cloves and nutmeg, and probably a little bit of, yeah, cinnamon sugar. Yeah. Sweetness in the aftertaste, mouth watering. Yeah. Grand Glendonach has a problem with supplies, and this year uh, it is announced that the 15 year old and the 18 year old are becoming rare, and the 21 year old will be only available from time to time. And well, the grandeur, 24 years old, is expensive enough, so <laughs> it will still be. Yeah, will be available in better at better, better dealers, um, but if you have to to move to to vintages to more expensive bottles of Glendronach, which carry an age or a vintage, uh, they cost an awful lot of money. They go up to three hundred, four hundred today. Uh, you might think about having a miniature from a friend or some available at your local dealer um, which will show you uh, or give you an idea how this full bottle will finally taste. And I definitely have to say a finished Glendronach is not worse or is as good as a full sherry matured because the distillery character sh still shines through. Yeah. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. If you have questions, please ask them on whiskey.com in our vlog section. Thank you very much.